my friends. I'll just dash back in to get the GoPro. As normal, come out to the pond first thing in the morning, like we all do, just to make sure everything's there and everybody. Oh, it's, it's up now. But the shower over there was sitting on the bottom. It wasn't clamped up, but it was just on the bottom. And I chucked the food in, it didn't budge. Everyone came flying over as per normal. So there's still something up with that fish. I haven't got a clue what it is. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a weird one really. I don't know whether it's got some kind of internal issue, whether or not it's got some kind of bacterial infection or whatever, but it's starting to lose a bit of its Benny now, the red. It just seems like a moody old bugger. But hey ho, on a brighter note, Chubbs, all of her raised scales that she had on either side, they're all, I say raised, they're slightly, slightly raised, they've all returned to normal. So job well done there. You can't see any not that you can see because it's a bit bright and reflective but no happy days with that um, still a couple of skin issues so I haven't checked my pH and stuff I've been limiting the amount of food that I put in so I presume my, my pH is still reasonably high and I presume my ammonia hopefully is on a bit of a come down I will check that later on today actually I've got a few other bits on but um, now hopefully the weather this next couple of weeks is actually going to improve vastly and be quite warm so that should help no end with me uh, filter bacteria and warming the water up but then I'm going to want to chuck a bit more food in so I need to uh, just be mindful of the ammonia and the nitrite but I'll check that later and we'll see where we're at um, just to see if it has moved I've had the trickling on a bit higher than normal, a bit faster could tell you how fast, but faster than I normally would have it in. So yeah, other than that, they're all looking alright, apart from the moody shower. But it's up and about now, so I didn't get any of that on film. And I've just remembered, I haven't had my UV on since I did the PP treatment. But my water clarity, that's alright. So we'll leave it off and see, um, see what happens really. But yep, yeah. and I will need to treat at some point for blanket weed. It's getting the fuzz is not quite a fuzz anymore, and there's a couple of odd stringy bits. So I'll, um, I, I do need to get that in because I don't want to be in that position of carnage, which I know a lot of people are experiencing right now. Um, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need to be twiddling all on a stick or jumping in to pull it all out. So. Um, Check the water parameters and then see what's what and then make a decision based on how well or how not well the water parameters are. Anyway, off to B and Q. The joys. Wish me luck. Anyway, I'll pick you up later. Peace out. Catch you later. Welcome back to summer. Oh, what a week. It's been amazing the weather this week. Absolutely roasting. Right, so fish. Now, obviously, with the weather temperatures being crazy, the fish are now going crazy. My water temp, 15, 2, 4, 17 degrees. So, obviously, they're going nuts. Now, the shower that was being a moody whatever has actually now got like a second life. It's straight up for food, look. So I don't know what was going on with it. So yeah, happy about that. Um, seemed to have, have turned a bit of a corner. Maybe it just wasn't happy with the temperatures. I don't know, I'm just about to do, even though I've just said them, that's the way I'm rolling. Just about to do some water tests actually, just to see how many pH 
ammonia and nitrite just them three are doing after last week's rise in all of them um, haven't had my trickle in on for a couple of days I've needed quite a lot of water for work so that's been on I'm watering the bloody garden in fact shall I show me garden I know a few people have asked, been asking about it so ready look got grass now although it's that bloody hot with a few of the bits of they're not too healthy them few bits there but look at that look at it happy days only after me moaning to the builder about the pile of crap they put in them they put about one kilo of blooming grass seed down anyway so yes so I'm going to do some water tests now just to see where that's at not a lot really been going on this week I've been finishing my office that's done now um, it's bank holiday weekend this weekend so if you can't go anywhere I'm going to get me heat sorted or at least put somewhere other than just sitting over there um, somewhere up here I'm have a play around with a couple of ideas still haven't ordered this bloody bit of wood in fact I'm going to be in queue tomorrow to get a desk so I'm going to see if I can get some um, so yeah I want to get that sorted Ideally, I'm going to get it in and on. Um, but you know how these things work, retrofitting anything is always a bloody nightmare. So I'm not going to, I think in my head, as long as I've got it in position and ready to be piped up, I'll be happy. There's a, there has been an external stat, thermostat in it, so I don't know if that's going to cause me any issues, because there's obviously I haven't got that now. Um, might need to speak to the guy that I bought it off. Hopefully I can get it up and running, um, but I'm not too bothered whether I don't. I just want to get it in position, ready to rock and roll at some point. But I've got, I've got three days to do it, so um, I should be able to do it. Even a man of my laziness. Yes, you heard me, that's what I said. So yeah, I mean the temperatures now, the fish are just nuts. They want to have some food chucked at them but I'm not quite willing to do it yet. I just want to get me water parameters down to normal and then slowly increase the feed amount. Anyway, so I'll, um, I'll do some checks and I'll pop back in a minute with the GoPro and we'll see how they are. Hopefully, not too bad. Well, I'll get that sorted and I'll switch in a minute. It's roasting up. I'm gonna go in here. Do it in here. Right. Nice and cool in here. Could turn this into my little my office, not the wife's. I spent all this money and time on it, not even use it myself. Right anyway, let's get some water tests done and then uh, see where we're at. Fingers crossed it's alright. So there we go. So pond water, tap water, pond water, tap water, pond water, tap water. So ammonia, still some showing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much. Uh, trying to work it out, I don't know. It's not as yellow as the tap water, but that could look a little bit green to me down the tap. Um, so that's a bit awkward, for my eyes anyway. I'll have to get one of the girls to have a look in a minute because I am colour blind anyway. Um, my nitrite looks all right. It's the same. So that's gone. And obviously pH is higher because of fish, organic load and all that jazz and air. So that could be a bit of a bit of a worry, I don't know. I might invest in one of these digital I don't know, is it like a HANA ammonia tester? Uh, I might have a look later, see if I can, uh, not see if I can get one, but uh, have a look. I can't remember what they are. Uh, I might get one, because, so reading the, the shades can be so close to each other, and my eyes being what they are, and a bit a bit colour blind, it is always a bit difficult for me to uh, to see the shades, and it's such a subtle change. 
if, if there's a trace reading. So if I can have a, a numerical um, readout, obviously it's a lot easier to, uh, to see where you're at. Um, but it's good that the nitrate nitrite is all but gone, or oh, it's all gone. So then bugs are back, but very odd that my ammonia is still slightly showing. So normally that sort of goes down, but we'll see. Uh, the fish don't look like they're upset and stuff. So temperatures are here, so good bacteria bugs should start to build in sort of an abundance now, really. Um, start to put a little bit more food in uh, as the temperatures sort of steady out and increase over the next coming weeks. Because the weather forecast for the next two weeks, sort of late teens, early 20s every single day, so it's pretty good. So uh, happy days. Right, got this packed away. Probably going to chuck some more food in now. No, I need to get the trickling back on once my uh, water's for me work's filled up. That should be in the next couple of hours. Um, as I say, that's not been the last couple of days either. But that's another possible problem as well that I had last week with me checking my DBD4s and seeing I still had uh, chlorine going through. So. Uh, I'm still investigating where I'm going to go with that and I'm not sure what I'm going to do but I do want to maybe either get a bigger pod system or change the cartridges that are in it to a different type or get one of these big blue carbon jobbies so you know it's all about investigation at the minute and pocket protection it's more money actually talking about money I've got a bit of a confession I've been looking at fish I'm very close to purchasing a fish that's all I'm going to say at this point. Just waiting on uh, something and then uh, I'll let you know a bit more if it goes ahead. Can't help myself. But that's why we have a pond to keep the fish. Anyway, I'm rambling along. Um, pack all this away and I'll catch you in a bit. Bye bye. So this is driving me mad. So I've just done another ammonia test on tap so i've done ammonia tests on tap water pond water a tap water again and some ro water which i use for window cleaning which is just literally being produced right now there's no difference in color in any of them they're all that color a slight hint of green on everything i've had the girls check who aren't quite as color blind as me um, that's a tap water one that I've just done, literally minutes ago. There's a very, very slight tint of green in there. So I'm thinking, I've got ammonia in my tap water. Um, I've just been, my water comes via Seven Trent waterways people. I've just been on their website, it's not the easiest thing to read. I'm going to have another look later on my laptop, which is my phone. And I'm going to order one of the HANA ammonia checkers. Um, but that's interesting if it is. Uh, briefly, it looks like there can be ammonia in the water up to a certain level, but if there's enough coming through, obviously I'm, you're just pumping ammonia into your pond, aren't you? So, unless my kit's faulty, um, it's in date. Expires 0322. So, yeah, I'm confused. They all look the same, look. Which could possibly mean the kit's out, because they're all exactly the same colour. So I'll order me digital HANA checker ammonia thing. That should be in the next couple of days. And rather than go and spend sort of 20, 30 quid on a new kit, if I spend the, oh, about 70 quid or whatever for the ammonia, digital checker thing. There'd be no confusion about shades of yellow or green. Um, I'll be getting a numerical value for it. For it. Um, but odd. Very odd. Um, I'm sure some of you would have had these same kinds of issues, so um, any kind of information you've got toward that will be good. But yeah, if you're putting crap water in to your pond, it's not good for your fish. That could explain maybe some of the veininess on the fish and this ammonia that I've had for probably three or four weeks now. I know I've had a few treatments going and stuff, but 
you'd have thought the temperature's warming up in an established biosystem in the pond I've had going for quite a few years now on the media that's in there would be um, okay to cope but hey ho not the case is it I don't think anyway so that pretty much ra ra wraps up this week's video um, not a huge amount going on because um, I've been busy in it but as I say a few more plans for this weekend but by the time this goes out I'd hopefully have started getting me heater in situ and plumbed in and all that just hopefully get it up and running got four days to do it three days to do it Saturday Sunday Monday so you never know hopefully I've got all the bits here to do it um, keep your comments and questions coming now for some reason YouTube isn't giving me a notification sometimes on some of the comments so I do trawl back through the comment section so you might not get a reply the same day but I do regularly go through the comment section to see if there are any that I've missed um, don't know why it's doing that don't do it for all of them it just does some which is very odd so yeah keep them coming it's fantastic and yeah thanks for your support and thanks for watching I'll catch you next week hopefully with a thumbnail of me and the heater installed that would be amazing but I'm not holding out much hope but I'm going to be positive about it get it done anyway yes let's shut up rambling thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week bye